Everyday K Food. 안녕하세요. 저기 스텔리입니다. Welcome to Everyday K Food episode one. Today we will be eating Hanguk Kitchen and we'll be trying their Korean food. So we actually ordered from food delivery app called Food Panda, and then we've um on this table itself we have actually uh the kimchi stew. The ginseng chicken as well as chicken stew itself. So we'll be trying and seeing whether do they pass our everyday K food test. Can it be eaten every day? Yeah. So over here you can see this is actually the uh, kimchi stew itself, and we have the ginseng chicken, which is pretty nice, clear white broth. Yep. And over here we have chicken stew. Chicken stew looks like it's very savory, and. Man, I'm looking forward to digging in already. So let me uh, have a taste and see how they are like. Okay, so uh, let me just try a little bit. Mm. Oh, very legit. This this uh, kimchi soup has that uh, kimchi, the traditional kimchi uh, soup. What it's supposed to be like. The right level of spiciness, the sour tangy feeling, and the kimchi vibes. Mm, I like. And they have mushrooms and stuff too as well. Is there meat inside? Yeah, I think so. Mm, let me see. Yeah, they have meat also, but they don't have a lot of meat. Hey, wait, is it meat? No, I don't think they have meat. It's very legit kimchi soup, I think. Like, legit just kimchi soup. And mushrooms, they have mushrooms too. Mushrooms are expensive. Okay, so uh, let me just try. Hmm. Not bad, this is actually a TV suit that I'll order again. Very good. What is the spicy level? Mm, it's sort of like in between the. For people that can take spice and people that don't take spice, it's kind of in between that. So if let's say five is being the middle ground and ten being the spiciest, it's probably like a six point five. Not very spicy. Not very spicy, but it's kind of good to start in the morning, like not too spicy kind, you know. Yeah. And then let me try this the soup. Wow, this one actually really has the ginseng. Mm. You know the that slightly bitter but not really bitter. Um, it's herbal, herbalish kind of taste. Yeah. So and they have a very big chicken over here. You all can see. I'm not sure if you all can see it. Let me just bring closer. You all can see. Wow, very generous. And this is actually quite affordable. I think. Um, all three of these, including delivery on Food Panda, is only like forty dollars. Yeah, so it's like three mains, and it comes with rice, of course. But yeah, so I think it's not bad. It's really quite good. I'm actually quite excited to try the last one, which is over there. Okay, this one is actually a steel based concept. So I'm going to try the chicken piece and see whether it has gone into the chicken or not. Right. Cause that's what chicken stew is about. You know? mm. Not bad. I'm very surprised. Yeah. Because we actually ordered this for breakfast. This is actually our breakfast meal. And it's really very flavorful. Because chicken stew usually you have to cook it for like about at least 30, 30 to 45 minutes kind of cooking to really get the flavour simmered into the chicken and the chicken actually has flavour okay, it doesn't have so much flavour but it does have the chicken stew savouriness and as well as that umami that we crave for in the morning ki uh, Korean chicken stew so hmm, I will pass this as well on the overall I think it's very satisfactory for a breakfast food and if you are craving for Korean cuisine Oh my god, this is really a place that you can consider trying. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, so, Deba! So, I think uh, if you guys are actually looking out for very uh, convenient options uh, that you all can order with Food Panda, 
And if Hangu Kitchen is nearby you, which is probably from the northeast area like Sengkang, Hongo area in Singapore, you really can consider ordering from this. They open at 7.30, 7.30 a.m. Which means that you can get it at any point in time. And uh, one smart tip when you're using food delivery apps, you can schedule your delivery. So I actually scheduled this delivery like since yesterday. Yeah, because I, I wasn't sure I can wake up to order my breakfast. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you enjoyed this short uh, everyday K food episode. If you enjoyed, do like this video or share with your friends and more people can get to enjoy and support local as well. So we will see you on the next episode of Everyday K Food. Bye bye.